Company Echoes presents. New product of the company Echoes Zero Emission Stations with a capacity of 5,000 to 60,000 cubic meter per day using biological method of cleaning. These stations are a major breakthrough in the construction of treatment facilities for large and medium-sized cities and settlements. The peculiarity of these stations is that they house all the necessary technical processes of cleaning and secondary work areas in a closed space, while excluding emission of harmful substances into the air. Superstructure block of the plant can be made up of various building structures and elements, based on the productivity and features of the project. The stations consist of substructure and superficial structure. The substructure is a high-quality cast concrete structure and primarily serves as a store for basic technological processes of purification. The depth of substructure and aid of the superficial structure may vary and depend on the productivity and the hoisting equipment to be used. Optimal dimensions for a station with a capacity up to 60,000 cubic meter per day are Overall diameter of the station up to 80 meters, depth of the substructure 8 meters, elevation of the superficial structure 6.5 to 9 meters, depending on the specifics of the project. Main stages of the contaminated sewage treatment are Mechanical treatment Biological treatment Profound after purification Disinfection Treatment of the resultant sediment. Among necessary auxiliary working areas and facilities we find. Accommodation space with a laboratory. Cellar for equipment and reagents. Areas for handling operations and others. The station is equipped with heating and ventilation systems. Air intake is carried out through air supply units with built-in filters and air conditioners, regulating the temperature inside the room. Stations are completely closed. All the water treatment processes take place in the same room. Harmful gases are coated and neutralized by special filters. No noise pollution takes place. Thanks to the lack of harmful emission, the sanitary protective zone around the treatment plant is reduced to a minimum. All the air pulled out of tanks is clean and decontaminated. Special decontamination equipment is used for this purpose. Air purification is achieved by applying electric charge on the molecules of gases. All technological pipelines and trays are made of stainless steel. Sewage water in zero-emission plants is purified to the highest standards on the customer's request and can be used hereafter for washing the streets and watering the woodlots or for industrial water supply. Treatment facilities can be fully automated or they can be controlled by the operator who sits in the control station and watches the processes with the help of observation cameras. Without changing the flowchart of purification, we change the place of technological equipment and production support areas, ensuring complete localization of harmful air emissions. The resultant constructions are equipped with leak-proof air ducts for taking air emission to electric catalytic cleaning, whose equipment is also on the second level in the center of the construction. Extraction of air emissions from the first level is also carried out with the help of leak-proof air ducts and is taken to electric catalytic cleaning tube. The released space can be used as warehouse space, provision of necessary facilities of interior, or it can even lead to redesign of the sewage treatment plant building, significantly reducing capital costs for construction of the station. Zero emission stations significantly differ from classic examples of current treatment facilities in that they can house all technological processes for high quality treatment of various flows in a closed space. Besides, they utilize waste sludge 
and sediment. These stations are capable of processing harmful emissions, excluding their leakage into the air. They are more environmentally friendly than classic circuits with open systems of aeration, settling tanks and sludge fields. A variety of architectural and design solutions can be used in the construction of zero-emission stations. Design of these stations can be fitted to the architectural landscape of existing structures and buildings, cities and settlements. Zero-emission stations can also be installed in any climatic zone under all weather conditions, temperature and seismic regime. Zero emission stations are much more efficient in terms of economy, capital investment, operating expenses and cost price. Company Ecos